Um, I was a bit ambitious when I said I was going to go through chapter one and two, because there's quite a lot in chapter one and two. But why not? Let's see what we can work through together, because I feel like that also is helpful to kind of know that you're, you know, doing something because it's the application of it that gives us the momentum. And that is the reason why I've been creating these digital workbooks, because they are instantly downloadable and it gets to the point. You know, it gives you the information that you need, but it also has sections where it gets you to think, gets you to kind of work through and reflect and journal what have you understood about what's been shared or do you agree with it? Maybe you don't, maybe you're not sure. And it's that action taking that is so crucial. Because when we read a book, it's all kind of all consuming. We just read and we absorb. Now, there's a point whereby we can only absorb so much. We've got to have an output. And that is what gets your animal communication momentum going. Note that I use the word momentum. That's much more important than get it right or get it good or get it confident momentum is what's important and that's why I want to do the workbook together with you so if you have your workbook I'd be interested to know pop it in the comments whether you're printing it or whether you are somebody that likes to work online so you just you know see it hey let me get into the workbook so if you want to get your workbook out at the same time with me that's great or get your notepad if any inspiration comes to you this is why it's so wonderful to be able to do this together because I can you know get you to make your notes there and then and then you'll you'll have this fulfillment that you've done it okay right let me get to the table of contents so what we're going to do today is look at developing self-awareness chapter one and tuning into our intuition chapter two but we'll see how far we go I don't want to overwhelm you. This, you know, take your time as well with this. So I want to also mention Claire here, Claire Gersoy. I couldn't have done this on my own because creating a workbook isn't just about writing out the content. It had to be designed. It had to have a layout. It's got to have images and it's got to look nice and I am not the best at that so that was one of the obstacles that were in my way that I couldn't you know move forward with until I collaborated with Claire so Claire with her wonderful creative artistic flair she's the one that put all the bits together and laid out the pictures you know so I want to thank her for doing that Let's go to the chapter one, developing self-awareness. This is absolutely crucial. And what do I mean by self-awareness? Now, I learned about self-awareness almost at the end of my animal communication learning. When I learned through courses and books, I, I, didn't, even, I didn't even know there was this terminology, self-awareness. Of course, we get it when I say to you self-awareness, you know, it's not a new description or a terminology, but how does self-awareness actually play a part in animal communication? Well, this is why I decided to write this workbook because I was thinking if I could learn animal communication again, if I could go back in time, what would I need to learn? Because it wasn't in, the format that I learned it that got me where I am today. I've had to pull lots of pieces together for it to almost make sense to me. So if I was to do it all over again, myself, the first port of call is self-awareness. So park how to communicate with animals to one side. Don't even think about it, right? Because these self-awareness exercises 
understanding the concept, bringing it into your awareness will help you when you start to learn almost like the steps of how to do animal communication. So self-awareness is about being aware, aware of what thoughts come into your mind, aware of what you're feeling emotionally, aware of what you're feeling physically, even aware of what you're hearing or tasting or smelling. But in this chapter, the self-awareness is more about what you're thinking without realizing you're thinking it. Now, what do I mean by that? So let's take a few examples. You may be thinking that you'd love to be an animal communicator. So as I say this, what thoughts come into your mind when I say to you, you would like to be an animal communicator? Are you happy to share in the comments? <laughs> 